As business owners or as marketing agency owners, you're constantly trying to figure out how to get your content to show up on the first page of Google search results. In this video, I'm gonna show you a tool that we use to track keywords, rank our keywords, and then determine if those keywords are even worth going after, all again through this one tool. Also, it gives you a cool tool for competitive analysis and website analysis. So let's take a look into this tool and how you can use it for free. All right, welcome back everybody. My name is Jordan Steen, AKA Serial Entrepreneur. And like I said in the beginning of this video, we're gonna talk about SEO really, because that's what we're really talking about when it comes to Google search engine results and showing up on the first page of Google. So remember, whenever it's your website or blog article content or YouTube videos, if that's what you're trying to rank for, SEO is the backbone for building any of those channels or any of those platforms. Make sure that you spend a lot of time learning search engine optimization and best practices for whatever platform you're using. Oh, and before we get started in today's video, make sure that you hit that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of this video and then the notification bell right next to it. So that way you guys get updated whenever we release new content four times a week. So like I said in the beginning, we're gonna talk about this one tool that I found. They have a free platform, which actually allows you to do quite a bit if you don't have a budget to start off with just yet. Um, you can use it for your clients, you can use it for your own business, how what you know, whatever you plan to use this tool for. It's great. Their free platform is really awesome, but their paid platform is also pretty great as well. It's not anywhere near expensive as some of the big competitors like Ahrefs or you know some of the other competitors that do the exact same thing. This tool is great. So it's called SERP Stats. So let's hop onto my computer over here really quick and we'll get started. All right, everyone. So this tool is SERP Stat, obviously, pretty clear. Um, if you're looking to use this tool, by the way, we have a special offer that they offer us to our students on. But basically, if you want that, it is in the description uh, below this video. I believe you get like a discount or an extended free trial if you use that um, on their actual service service where they show you like full access to everything. Uh, but basically, guys, this tool is really, really great. All right, so once you're logged in, the first thing you want to do is click this tools I like icon right up here and it's gonna take you into their platform. Now, it'll ask you to set a project. If you you know skip that for some reason and make it back to the homepage and you didn't do that, um, then you're just gonna come here. Let me delete this one, that's our test one. And I'll show you guys how to create a project. So it'll look like this actually when you first log in. You're gonna click add new project right here, and then you're gonna add your domain. So we'll just do serialentrepreneur.academy. Cool, uh, project name, CEA uh, keywords you know, just for example, and then a group, you can create a group if you'd like, so we can just do CEA internal, something like that, right? Then we'll click create, and it's going to populate, it's gonna go out and actually find my web address, and then pull out referring domains, referring pages, um, whether we're doing pay-per-click on Google or anything like that, SEO-related keywords, um, and the cool thing is you can actually do an audit of your website completely free, so they'll send you the audit and tell you where errors exist on the website, also, again, completely free. Um, and then if you choose, you can upgrade your plan and that's where you get to start doing things like rank tracker, where you can put in specific keywords uh, that you're trying to target uh, with your content, whether it be blog or whatever, and you can start to see how you're growing with those specific keywords. So it'll show you know the growth in your rank, whether you're showing up on the you know 20th page of Google or whether you're on the first page of Google. All right, so the site audit though is still on the free version. Um, I don't know how many site audits they'll allow you to do or how many projects that you can have open on the free version. Also, you are limited to searches, so you only get 30 searches per day. That's cool, you get them per day, so that's a lot per month, but it's not enough if you're trying to do it for several clients, right? So if you do need to upgrade, again, their pricing is super cheap. I believe the plan I'm on is 67 dollars per month and that gives me 4,000 daily searches, unlimited projects, unlimited all kinds of stuff. So you can really get a lot done with just the $67 per month package. You can work a lot of clients on here. All right, so let's show you a little bit about how this tool works and how we use it and why it's so great. So let's say we wanted to do um, social media marketing, right? And that's a keyword we wanted to target. Social media marketing, I could do you know, even more intense specific, I could do social media marketing training, uh, social media marketing courses, uh, free social media marketing training, all that kind of stuff. We're just gonna go broad and go social media marketing. 
All right, so if I click search, what it's gonna do is it's gonna pull up a ton of different information. Search volume, competition, the cost per click on average for that keyword, and then the keyword difficulty, okay? So here's the things that I like to use. Number one, obviously, is search volume. You can get that from things like Google Tool or um, uh, Keyword Planner. You can get it from Uber Suggest. We've used that in other videos that we've talked about. That's You want to kind of cross-reference because all of these are estimates and some use paid third-party sources like Serpstat. Um, and some pull it directly because they are the original source, like Google. Um, so just make sure that you're using multiple sources to verify search volume. Don't rely on one source. Uh, but it does give you a general idea, and you can see if you're missing any of the information, it tells you what all of, where all, all of this data came from. Next is competition, and this is going to tell you how competitive that keyword is, how many other businesses are out there, and it's out of 100. So the higher the competition, um, the more competitive that industry is. Cost per click. This is going to show you how much something costs right per click and the average in the industry important to know next is keyword difficulty and this is one of my favorite ones because it allows you to track which keywords are relevant and which ones aren't going to be relevant the higher the keyword difficulty the harder it's going to be to rank for a business whether it be blog content or YouTube content so for new channels you want to start off with a lower competition score and a lower keyword difficulty so I'm gonna show you a chart really quick that you're really gonna love alright so this is a chart actually that SERP stat has put together if you want just free blog content on keywords SEO stuff like that definitely follow Serpstat. They have a lot of great information, but this chart is actually pretty standard for people in the YouTube business and in Google who are trying to rank organically, basically SEO business, right? So what this shows you is what types of keywords you want to target. If you're a newer business, you're going to start off with low. As you start to build your following and traffic to your site or to your blog or channel um, on YouTube, you can move into medium as you begin to progress even more difficult and then very difficult, right? So it's different for every industry. I, you know, for me, we don't have to have as many subscribers to start to break through into this medium difficult niche. Whereas someone in the video gaming industry is going to have to start off really low and they're going to have to ride up to, you know, 10, 20, 30,000 subscribers on YouTube, for example, before it even makes a difference for them, right? Um, before they can actually start targeting medium and difficult content because it's very, very competitive niche. So let's look at this tool even further. If I go down to this little section right here on organic keywords, I can click show all and it's going to show me keyword difficulty, volume, cost, cost per, uh, uh, competition and pay-per-click results, like how many search results exist, which social domains they're on, right? So this is a really cool tool. I can actually go through here, I can sort by keyword difficulty, and I can see what might be beneficial for me to target. All right, so if you look at this keyword right here, you'll see social media marketing, but there's a period at the end, right? So that's a different type of search. There's not as much search volume for it, or the keyword difficulty isn't as difficult for that. But let's, I wouldn't say to use that because people could end this sentence with social media marketing and then a period, and that's what's being counted there. So let's look at something else. Some people are typing in social dash media dash marketing, right? And that has a lower keyword difficulty. Um, social media with a, a dash in between it and then just marketing without the dash between it, right? That's got a lot, uh, a decent com uh, keyword difficulty. And we could put those, incorporate those keywords into blog content, into tags on YouTube uh, that are going to help us rank for when people search for those types of videos, right? Uh, we have an 18.54, so that's a little higher, but it's still in the spectrum for us to compete in. Social media marketing companies, right? So that if I was doing, you know, if I was trying to create a video topic enlightening people on the ability to create a social media marketing company, that's what I could gear that, you know, keyword or use that keyword set for in a piece of content. All right, so before this video gets any longer, because we can really get into it with using a tool like this, I don't want to bore you guys. So what I've done is I've put together a full-length blog article that goes into even more detail about using the SERP stat tool. So if you're interested in that, make sure you check below this video in the description. There is a link to our blog article that says literally like video blog um, or blog link, whatever. Um, but it's right below this video in there. Check that out, click that, and you can get more information about SERP stat. Oh, and really quick question. What tools do you guys use for SEO management? management and keyword research, thing like that. I'd always love finding new keyword tools. So if you have any that I might be interested in, leave a comment below this video and let me know what they are. Oh, one more time, I guess I will remind you again, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. I promise you, you're gonna wanna stay tuned with all the stuff we have coming out. It's gonna be really good. Oh, and one last thing, if you really like today's video and you wanna learn more about keyword research, SEO, we've put together a whole playlist. It's got about 11 videos. So check out this link right up here in the top right-hand corner. I promise you, you'll love it. But that's it for me, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you on the next video. So until then, Serial Entrepreneur out. Later. Google results. Wow, computer.
Thank you for that. I'm gonna shoot that again now. Ready to start living the six figure work wherever be your own boss lifestyle? Well, at Serial Entrepreneur Academy, we'll teach you how to use a laptop and internet to start your own social media and digital marketing agency. Get started with our free Facebook ads training. Links in the description below, guys. See you in the course. Serial Entrepreneur out.